What's going on, y'all? Wolf back at you again with another reaction. We about to get into some Hunter X Hunter. Um, yeah, man, the last couple episodes were honestly pretty calm. Nothing really happened. Um, I like to call these, these kind of episodes the calm before the storm, right? Uh, we still got the king playing Goongi with Komugi. And of course, Komugi actually enjoys playing Goongi with the king. So I think it's safe to say now that they are officially friends type shit. The king's first friend. He cares for her. He even asked for her protection to Pito, which is insane. So he, at, at all times, Komugi, Komugi will be protected. Crazy. Um, and uh, of course, the selection is happening. Apparently, uh, we've seen one of Shia LaPoop's powers. Uh, these, uh, he has a power like Butterfree, where he can do some type of a hypnosis powder on all the humans, and they look, they look all like fucking dazed and zombie-like. So that's a cool little power he has. Also, a very fitting power. You know, uh, that's a very like uh, I guess political power to have to hypnotize your opponents on some bullshit. You feel me? <laughs> so uh, there's that. Um, and yeah, man, I mean, our, 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 our squad, well, who's our squad? We got Morel, we got Nav, who was actually, you know, you know, helping out now, even though, I don't know what happened to Nav, it looked like he aged, like, fucking 50 years, his hair turned white, and he had, like, wrinkles and shit, and, and his voice sounds, you know, his voice sounds a little more hoarse, so, I guess, uh, that, that whole, when he went, when he went into contact with fucking, um, with uh who's who's nan was it poof's nan when he went into, in, into, into contact with poof's nan i mean he just broke down bro like he, he, he's just i don't know he's just a, a broken man at this point but now he is trying to help out as much as he can you know without running into any type of royal guard nan uh what else we got we got malarion ikalgo the two chimera ants that that fuck with us and now we fuck with them of course uh knuckle shoot and of course god and kill and we are all inside of Nob's fucking multi-dimensional space. We're in this room, we're chilling, we're eating, we're hanging out, we're, we're, we're thinking of the plan. And uh, yeah, also, I mean, we gotta stay focused. This is, the, this is the time, right? We gotta be focused. We have to be, even though we have a plan, we have to be prepared for all types of anomalies and just unexpected things that could happen. Because, I mean, I don't know if you guys have made fucking plans before, but plans always fuck up. Plans always fuck up in some way, shape, or form. Whether they be huge fuck up or a little fuck up, they always fuck up. They usually never go through 100%, right? And you have to be prepared to improvise and to, and to make the right decisions when that happens. Luckily, Killua has been trained in this. However, Gon has not. So we need Killua to be at Gon's side at all times. Because I'm just, I don't know, I, I just feel, I just feel like Gon, like Killua is experienced. He can handle this. But gone? I don't know, bro. Like, I. I Killua. The, the thing is, Killua. I know he's like. Killua's like a 12, 13 year old or whatever. He's super young. But he's. Killua seems mature to me. You know, he's, he's just been through so much assassin training. Blah, 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 blah. His old assassin life, right? So he just seems like a very mature person already. Gone, though? No. Gone is an actual 12 year old. He, he thinks that way. So. I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm just really hoping that you know, if if, if let's say if 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 our if our group sees the king and the three royal guards in front of him, I just I just don't want Gon to see Pito get angry and charge at her and fuck up the plan. That's what I feel like this is gonna happen, and that's and that that's that's definitely a huge possibility. So we need Killua to be in front of Gon to be always holding him back and to just you know be there. When, when Gon needs him, because Gon is definitely going to need Killua in this uh, attack. And uh, nonetheless, we are we are attacking. The, the plan is in order. Uh, I like how they haven't told us the full plan. They told us little 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 bits of it. We know the port, the whole portal thing, and you know whatever whatever. But they haven't told us, you know, the the little nuances or, or the, the the particulars of the plan. The the, 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 de the, de the details. We don't know the details, right? Also, I'm wondering. Okay, where the fuck is Netero, right? Where is Netero? Although, at the same time, none of our crew is saying that. So maybe they know what's happening. You know, maybe they know where Netero is. Maybe he's waiting. You know, for for the actual 
um, separation of the royal guards and the king, and they know that, but we don't. So I do like that. Um, and of course, uh, uh, as the plan unfolds, um, uh, I'm excited to see you know how. Uh, what the actual plan was and how it actually you know happens because then uh you know that that just makes it super interesting that'd be on some like oceans 11 type shit you know if you guys have watched oceans 11 spoiler alert that movie is like 20 years old anyway but they they they, they did the plan and they didn't tell it till after the plan was done so i hope that's the, that, that's what uh they're doing here because that would, that would that would be very cool that'd be a very interesting way to do it right um so yeah man the plan is in order operation exterminate chimera ants has begun and uh, first things first, we have to uh, not take out the royal guards, but separate them from the king, and then we can go. We can just go from there. You feel me? Um, really, the only the only anomaly that Killua ha uh, has alluded to that they that they will not expect is Komugi, the friend of the king. That's something they're not expecting. They think it's like Palm, you know. That they think it's King reproducing with some girl, right? No, it's the king playing a board game with a very fragile little girl they're not they're never gonna expect that and as soon as they see that like let's say let's say they bust into the king's room they say hands up bitch and then he's playing Goongi with Komugi and they're not gonna shoot him there's no way they're gonna shoot him they're gonna see him playing a, an innocent little game with an innocent little girl they're gonna freeze I would freeze you know and in that moment that they freeze the king might chop their heads off <laughs> So, I mean, that's what I'm. That's what I'm really looking forward to. How they're gonna react to, you know, the, the king's relationship with with this random girl. All right. That's 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 the thing that that might fuck everything up. And Kilo was right. You know what I'm saying? So, in any case, let's go ahead and jump into the operation. Um, but before we do that, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. All right. Cool. Hunter X Hunter episodes 111 and 112. Oh, two minutes before Morale issued the attack? What's happening? What is... Is that a Ho-Oh? Was that a Pokemon? What? Hey! I can't see! Who are they? Fuck! What is that bird? <laughs> What? Golden Dragon? What the hell? Oh, she said, Ew! At the same time. What the fuck? This is so crazy! Dude, see? I'm scared, bro. As soon as Gon sees Pito, he's gonna throw the he's gonna throw the plan out the window. I know he is. Okay. I still don't know who the fuck these two guys are. Oh shit! Oh shit! It's him! It's him. Oh yeah, the fucking grandfather Zoldic has a dragon power. I forgot. And it's the chairman, dude. This plan. Oh, this plan is lit. This plan is lit. This plan is lit. Look at Pito all fucking excited and shit. <gasps> fucking meteor shower at the same time they break in genius plan this plan is awesome I love this plan attack from above attack from within perfect what is that the poof goes straight to the king <laughs> dragon dive Damn! <laughs> Look at Pito's eyes, bro. Oh my goodness. It's Chairman with the long ass earlobes. What the fuck? The Chairman was an old man when he was a. when he was a baby? How old is he? He's like 200 years old! Huh? 
100 type Guanyin Baritsava. I couldn't read that fully. So everything is paused right now in time, like how the, Zolt, the grandfather Zoltik was, was saying. Yeah, all whatever's happening right now is all happening like in a fraction, in a fraction of a second. Oh god. What the f fuck is th what is that? <laughs> what did he just fucking fire blast her with? Gratitude? So this is a flashback of him training? Damn, he's 46? Dude, I'm, I'm fucking like him. I'm in my 20s, bro. What the hell? Ten thousand punches of gratitude, so he prays before each punch. Wow! And every day he would do it ten thousand times. That is fucking dedication, dude. Holy fuck! What a crazy old man. Wow, you can see the seasons changing. This is amazing, dude. This is fucking beautiful. What the fuck? Hunter x Hunter. So he does this 10,000 times every day. Motherfucking. Wow. He did it for two years? Oh, so he did it, he was able to do it faster and faster every day. Oh, oh, what does that mean? In under an hour? Wait, how's that even possible? So he went like, he goes like this 10,000 times in under an hour? Yo, it's hard to even go like this 10,000 times in, in an hour. Holy fucking shit, I got chills. He just walked into some dojo and said, look what I got. So, he punches faster than sound. That is insane, bro. And that's what Pito experienced? Holy shit. Holy shit. Whatever attack he just did to Pito uh, is faster than the speed of sound. That's what that whole thing was about. Damn, what is that? <laughs> Pito just got blasted, bro. Okay. Dude, look at the arrows. This is, this is, all this just happened in a fraction of a second. Imagine, dude. <gasps> Damn. Dragon Dive. Oh, wait. Pitu isn't there to protect, to protect Komugi. Because Pitu, <gasps> oh no. Here we go. Attack from the attack from above, attack from within. This plan couldn't be any better. Let's go. Now the question is, how are we gonna deal with Yupi? And is he gonna notice us invis? Oh we're not invis. <laughs> Wait, we're not invis? We're just punching it? Oh, okay, only Knuckles invis. Hmm. 
I guess he can't make more than one person invis. Shit, I thought he could. Alright. So distract Yuppie, get Knuckle past Yuppie, and then fucking punch the king. Sounds good. Before we move on to the next episode, um, I just want to say that I'm pretty sure that whole episode was one second long in anime time. <laughs> like, oh, that was so sick. That was so sick. All right, I'm going to save my shit for the, for, for, for the outro. You feel me? Let's go on to the next episode here. Oh, damn. <laughs> ah! And Yubi could be the strongest one of uh, the royal guards, right? He seems like the most brawn. Oh, shit. So they were, apparently they weren't aware. Wow. That's... I didn't... I thought that was all part of the plan, bro. Shit. Dude, look how slow the arrow is. This, look, imagine these these thoughts and things are happening within seconds, bro. Oh, that's that's knuckle. Ooh. Was that part of the plan? Damn, that whole time, <laughs> they're wondering if, if Knuckle and Malaria were good. <laughs> That's crazy, dude. There's so many... What the fuck? There's so many things happening in these 10 seconds. Insane. Insane, insane, insane. Oh, there it is. Chicken, this is an octopus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Fucking shapeshifter, dude. I love his design. He's just a magical beast. Damn, Yuppie is truly a monster. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. Dude, if... The Goongi board is broken. If Komogi got hit... It's fucking bad, dude. The king is gonna go ape shit on everyone. Oh, man. Okay, there's Poof. <gasps> oh, fuck! Oh man, the chairman? Oh shit, they're right there! She's about to boost! <laughs> Looking mighty thick there, are you, Pito? Damn. Oh no. See? Ooh. What? That's the king's aura, bro. Dude, Komugi got hit. Komugi got hit. It's so bad right now. Is she dead? Yo, if Komugi dies, everyone's dead. Komugi, uh, the king's killing everyone. Holy shit. Wow. Wow. The stillness is giving me goosebumps, bro. Look at the king's face. Nothing. Oh, fucking Yuppie.
Yeah, how are they going to get past Yupi? <laughs> he was not going to let them get past him, bro. There's no way. Oh, man. The Zoldic and the Chairman are here? How are they going to react to this, bro? See? Yeah, they can't attack him, man. Wow, dude. Well, even the chairman froze. See? Unexpected shit. How are they going to attack him now? But the king is definitely going to attack them. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> Yo, same, Pito. That, that shit got me like... What? He was like begging... Kind of in like a begging state. Like he's saying hold. Oh, what the fuck? This is so crazy, bro. Yeah, you have to respect it. He's taking care of a little girl. Yeah. Yeah. If they attack him while he's caring for her, they would be the inhumane ones. Oh my god. Hunter x Hunter. <clears throat> okay. She's gonna heal Komagi. That's good. <laughs> he just walked past him like nothing. <laughs> this shit is sick. What the fuck? Oh, fuck. Okay. Um, first, this is going to be a bitch to edit because I was pretty much uh, talking the whole goddamn time. Um,. Shit. Okay. <sighs> Hold on, let me... Let me get it together now. Let me get it together. Because I just watched two incredibly good episodes of Hunter x Hunter. So let me just... Calm down. And gather my thoughts. And let me express what I have just... First, let me turn the fan off. So you guys can fully, you know... Hear me, I guess. Alright, the fan is on. Let me go. Alright, so let's talk about it. So the first episode that we saw was an episode all about the chairman. Also, that episode was like in the span of like, dare I say like a second? You know, as soon as Morel said go, that's when the dragon dive happened, that's when they went into the portal and attacked the staircase, and that's when Pito went up against the chairman. All of this is happening within a span of, you know, one to five seconds. Shh. <laughs> just, just, okay. Just for an episode, like, in, in, in anime time to last five seconds and be so captivating is amazing in itself. I guess, first, I want to say that before I get into the episode, right? Amazing. The writing is fucking crazy. Fucking crazy. It's like clearly on another level than most animes out right now. I just gotta say that, right? I just gotta say that. Boom. Okay. So, so Pito activated her, her Nen power, right? When she saw the Dragon Daiva and when she saw the Chairman. And it takes Pito apparently a fraction of a second to activate Dr. Blythe, right? Which is really fast. You know, you would think that's, oh, that's so fast. How are you gonna react? But it showed how the Chairman developed his power. I still don't know what the fuck it is. He went like this, and he did a fucking... He, he, he did a Nen Blast. A huge Nen Blast to her, and she went flying. I don't even know what the fuck happened yet. Um, so, I love the backstory. So when he was 40 or so years old, he... I guess he felt like he was at the peak of his powers. So he needed he needed to... You know, maybe when when he reached 46, he felt like you know he, he, he finally mastered all there is to master when it comes to martial arts. And because of that, 
know, he wanted to give gratitude to whoever. I don't even know what the fuck, right? Um, so he went like this. <laughs> 10,000 times every day for two years, right? And, it, and on the first day, they said it took him over 18 hours to complete this, you know, fucking patty cake. And then when he was finished, it took him less than an hour. First of all, to, to, to just even do this, you know, 10,000 times within an, hour, within an hour is insanely fast. I, I don't even think that's humanly possible to do that, right? Um, and the fact that he's, he's able to do this, to pray in between each punch 10,000 times, yeah, that's crazy. And of course, that through this praying, I guess whoever he was praying to granted him the ability to be faster than the speed of sound. Like the scene that they had him in the, in the dojo when he when he punched and the sound was actually like not as fast as his punch. That was so cool. I had chills when they did that shit. That was so cool. So you're telling me this whatever attack he did to Pito was faster than a fraction of a second. It was faster than speed of sound. That's what that whole thing was about. I don't know what attack he did. It, it, he uh, fucking the 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 old man Zolde called it the the hundred type lady Boagwen Badozava whatever whatever. I don't even know. I'll, I'll look it up afterwards. Um, but actually, I'm not gonna look it up because I might get spoiled on some, sh on some shit. So I'm just gonna let it happen. But yeah, that attack was faster than the speed of sound. That's what that meant. That whole backstory thing. And Pito got rocked. She was sent flying. If she didn't, if she didn't have Doctor Blythe to fucking stop her in her tracks, she would be in another in another fucking country <laughs> right now. That was dope. That was dope. Um, okay. And of course, Poof, the one who is loyalist to the king, uh, was the first one to to I guess get to the palace. And Yupi, of course, being the um, the most barbaric of the group, he just decided to start attacking our, our crew. Dude, that first episode really just happened within a span of one to five seconds. That's so insane. And it was so captivating. Awesome. Also, apparently, <clears throat> God and the crew did not know that I guess the chairman and the old man Zoldic were gonna attack from the sky because they were surprised by the dragon dive, you know? So maybe that's maybe, maybe that's best though, maybe because you know it, w it would just remove all, um, just like possibilities of the enemy knowing of our plans, just in case one of us was captured or something. So the, the whole dragon dive was best to be kept a secret. I can understand that. Okay, cool. Okay, and then of course the first dude, the first thing that I thought. When they dragon dived, and when Pito was looking at it from the sky like this in her fucking Karate Kid um, stance, was Pito's Nen or N wasn't there to protect Kumugi, right? Which is what the king ordered her to do. And because she wasn't there, the first thing that came to my mind was, oh shit, if Kumugi gets hit with one of these dragon dived arrows, the king is gonna murder everyone. <laughs> and that's what happened. I mean, the king seems very calm, honestly. He's, he's a lot calmer than I thought he was, um, which is showing his human side, I guess, honestly, which is kind of crazy. I really thought he was just gonna go ape shit, right? And just obliterate everything around him with just his aura. But no, he calmed down. It looked like for, him, for a second there that he was you know, about to lose his shit, but he calmed down. He asked, <sighs> the scene where he asked Pito, to heal her, he, he the way he asked her, he like looked up with doggy eyes, was like, "Can you please heal her?" Like, oh my god, you know this fucking king monster guy is politely asking his subordinate to heal Kamugi. It's not like anything we've seen from the king so far, right? So yeah, yeah, and of course, with the king being so human in front of the chairman and the old man's old next eyes, they could not find it in within themselves to attack the king because he was being human you know and it would be inhuman for them to attack the king while he was trying to take care of this little girl that he clearly cared for that was awesome 
That was sick. And of course, the ending scene there where the king easily walked between possibly the two strongest hunters that exist right now. Like a boss. Is it weird to say that I like the king more than I like? Is the king my favorite character? Holy shit. He might be, dude. Killua is definitely up there. I'd say the king and Killua are tied for me. But the king, just the way he's, I don't know, bro. He's like, he's clearly changing. He's changing at a, at a very fast pace just because of this little girl, you know? Just the way he was acting so human in that room. How he didn't, because it could have went two ways. He could have lost his shit and just sent a Nen blast and just exploded everything. You know, that, that, that was one way. But he didn't do that. He calmed down, he gathered his thoughts, and he calm, and he actually, he's, he's doing this in our favor. He said, we will not fight here. We will fight in another location, which is actually, you know, in our favor. So he's calmly doing this, which is kind of nuts. You know, he, uh, something like this, you would expect the king to really just, like I said, lose his shit, but no, he's calm and he's scary and he's ready to fight. Now, this is obviously a fight I can't wait to see. Now the question is, are they gonna 2v1 him? Are they gonna 1v1 him? I don't know. Honestly, I wanna see the 1v1 between the chairman and the king. Cause first of all, I still don't know what the hell the chairman does. I don't know what that attack was. He sent a fucking energy blast that was so big and so fast that it sent P2 flying, right? So that shit's super powerful. Um, so yeah, I, I, I wanna see that 1v1. Also, shout out to the Pokemon, a fucking ho that they used to, <laughs> to, 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 to to travel the sky. I guess that was another one of the, of the magical beasts that they'd be mentioning in the show sometimes. That was cool. All right, man. Sick. Those two episodes were insanely good. Uh, this is going to be very hard to edit because, you know, as, as, um, as YouTube reactors to anime, we have to cut at least most of half of the episode out. So I don't know how I'm going to cut these episodes. <laughs> it's it's going to be so hard to cut. Because I just want to keep it all. But I can't. So, yeah. Anyway. Um, yeah. Very good episodes. Definitely these two episodes are, you know, one of my top 10 episodes of this series so far. That's 100% sure. Because I was just like, I was just on the edge of my seat, you know, anticipating everything and just, yeah. I couldn't stop. Uh, I couldn't stop like, you know, talking and reacting to it. So, yeah, these are these are very solid episodes for sure. And that just means that the next episodes are gonna be even fucking crazier because we have the fight with the king and the chairman, and the fight with all the other royal guards. So it's just gonna keep getting more lit, and uh, I can't wait to watch this shit, man. So, if you guys enjoyed those two fire episodes. Just as much as I did, make sure I hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, ow.